Hello everyone, Patrick here, and today we're taking a look at the FA-18E Super Hornet that was just released with the Microsoft Flight Simulator 7 update. You might remember us looking at the FSX port over last year, but this time a much, much better model that is really fun to fly. Of course, we all know about the FA-18 on DCS World, the highest Fidelity 18 to ever be created. But in the Microsoft Flight Sim world, this is a lot of fun too, considering a lot of real-world flying in this bird is not always air-to-air -air combat, but valley runs. Maneuver practice. or stadium flyovers. Really, it's up to you and your imagination. Starting with the modeling, I think the exterior and interior look very nice. More detail than I expected for some reason, but Asobo often gets these things right, so it's also no surprise. As one can expect, most of the buttons are in-op at the moment but many of the key buttons do work. You can still bring up the HUD and HSI on the displays if you want to. The rest of the buttons are actually there, but they let you know they have not been implemented yet when you click them. And this seems like really good news to me. I can see this aircraft as an excellent template for a developer with the time and will to make everything function properly. Look at what Fly-By-Wire has done with the very basic A320neo we were provided a year ago or what Zebo did with the default Laminar 737. Mark my words, this is a project waiting to happen for somebody. Now for a little extra fun in lieu of having real people to fly with at the moment, I recorded a ghost track with Flight Control Replay and I'm playing that back. So what you see me following ahead of there is another track that I recorded and we're gonna you know, have a plane to taxi with and take off with for extra fun. Overall, for a free included aircraft, this was very fun to fly, and maybe a little above average for your typical default fighters. Even for someone like myself, who's been using the DCS World version for the last four years, it's pretty cool having this in the open world. I look forward to creating proper Air Force bases to accompany this new plane in our hangars. For more, stay tuned on my channel. I have a very unbiased choice of aircraft that I like to fly and enjoy the full spectrum of aviation. So long for now. See you next time.